the divisibility rule divisibility by 13 if a given number is divisible by 13 or not we check it for example if we take 1885 is divisible by 13 or not now the rule is multiply the last digit by 4 and add that result to the number formed by the remaining digits here the last digit that is units digit is 5 now multiply this by 4 and add to the number formed by the remaining digits here the units digit is 5 that is the last digit by excluding this we have the remaining digits 1 8 8 so the number formed by the remaining digits is 188 now add this product to this number 188 we get 208 now again repeat this process until we get smaller number now by applying the same process on number 208 here the units place digit that is last digit is 8 now multiplying by 4 and adding to the number formed by the remaining digits by excluding 8 here we get the number 20 is the formed by the number remaining with remaining digits now by adding these two we get 52 so clearly 52 is a smaller number comparatively now clearly this 52 is divisible by 13 so the given number 1885 is also divisible by 13 so this is the divisibility rule now take another one divisibility by 17 if we take a number 2465 we check whether it is divisible by 17 or not now here the rule is multiply the last digit by 5 and subtract it to the number formed by the remaining digits so the rule is different from the previous one now here in the given number the last digit is 5 now multiplying this 5 with 5 and subtracting the result from the number formed by the remaining digits by excluding this 5 we get the number 246 now subtracting this product from 246 we get the number 221 now again repeat the same process until we get the smaller number now apply the same process on the number 221 here the last digit is 1 now multiplying 1 by 5 and subtracting the result from the remaining number if we exclude the units digit place the number formed by the remaining digits is 22 by subtracting the result 1 into 5 from 22 we get 17 clearly 17 is divisible by 17 so the given number 2465 is divisible by 17 so this is the divisibility rule for 17 see another criteria divisibility by 19 if you take a number 4845 whether it is divisible by 19 or not we check it here the rule is multiply the last digit by 2 and add it to the number formed by the remaining digits here the last digit is 5 now multiplying this last digit 5 by 2 and adding to the number formed by the remaining digits by excluding the last digit we get the number 484 now adding 484 and the result producted by 
the last digit and 2 we get the number 494 the process is same now again repeat the same process or applying the same process on this number 494 here the last digit is 4 now multiplying by 2 and adding this result to the number formed by the remaining digits by excluding units digit or the last digit the number is 49 now adding these two we get the number 57 comparatively it is smaller now clearly 57 is divisible by 19 so the given number also that is 4845 is also divisible by 19 so this is the criteria for divisibility by 19.